Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna talk about how we can continue to add numbers vertically, but this time we're gonna use drawings instead of our place value disks. So our learning goal for today says, I can make drawings on a place value chart to help me add numbers vertically. So the materials that you need will be a dry erase board and a place value chart. If you don't have a place value chart, you can just draw it on your dry erase board chart with a tens and ones column. All right, so let's create our own drawings to help us add. So this is very similar to the lesson that we just did in the previous lesson, but we're gonna be drawing our own place value disks basically, instead of using those manipulatives. So let's say you're solving some math problems, you don't have those place value disks, you can draw your own to help. Okay, so here we have 32 plus 24. Here's my place value charts with tens and ones. I'm going to model 32 with my drawings. So here's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So look, my drawings aren't perfect. They're a little squiggly and that's okay because it's just a drawing. Okay, now we're gonna model 24. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, just the same way we did in the previous lesson, we're gonna add our ones first. So two ones plus four ones is how many ones, friends? Six, so I can model that in my vertical form. Now I'm gonna add my tens next, which I have three tens plus two tens equals how many tens? Five tens. So 32 plus 24 equals 56. All right, let's look at another problem. So we have 19 plus 41. Okay, so we're gonna model with our place value chart. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. We're going to model 41. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. Okay. Now we're going to add our ones first. So we have nine ones plus one one. Oh, that makes a 10, right? So I'm going to draw and group those together. And I'm going to draw an arrow to say, oh, they're going over to the tens to make a 10. Okay, so similarly before we would remove all of those place value disks, here we're just gonna circle them and draw a line to make the new 10. So now I won't count anything that's in the circle as a one anymore in my drawing. So now I'm gonna model my place value chart. Well, I don't have any ones anymore, so I put a zero in there, but I made one new 10, so I put that one group of 10 below. So now I add my tens. So one ten plus four tens plus that extra ten that I just composed gives me six tens. Okay, so 19 plus 41 equals 60. All right, so let's look at another one. So we have 57 plus 28. So, oh, tag your it, it's your turn, friends. Go ahead and pause the video. Draw your drawings of those numbers to represent 57 and 28, and then solve using your drawings and the vertical form. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So I'm gonna model these numbers, so 57 and 28. I'm gonna add my ones first. I'm gonna draw here to make a group of 10 because I know that that's way more. So now I have 10. I'm gonna group that into a new 10, and now I can go over to my vertical form. Well, I have five ones left over, and that new 10 that I just made, I'm gonna put that in the new group below, and now I add my 10s, and I have eight 10s. So 57 plus 28 equals 85. Did you guys come up with that too? Awesome, great job, friends. All right, let's look at another one. So here we have 15 plus 68. So tag your it, go ahead and model with your drawings and then solve using the vertical form. Click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So here's my chart. Here's 15 and here's 68 modeled together. I'm going to add my ones first. I'm going to group some of those together to make a 10. I'm going to create my new 10 or compose it. Let's model that below. So I have three ones left over and the new 10 that I made goes in the tens place. Then I add my tens and I have eight tens. So 15 plus 68 equals 83. 
All right, bravo to you guys. You guys did a great job using drawings to help add numbers vertically. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.